Welcome back to Rule the Waves, Germany, 1920 start. Looks like where I left off was 1939? Was it really that late? Wow, okay. Um, ships under construction, pretty straightforward there. Ooh, about to have a fast battle bit. battleship. Braunschweig off the slip lines, that'd be good. Eight 15 inch guns, excellent. This is what happens when you don't play for a couple days. You come back, you're like, where were we? Most of my fleet is in repair. Oh, I think we had a fleet engagement that went poorly, but we didn't lose any ships that were important, so it was a bit of a toss-up. That's right, these ships were like getting their main guns knocked out and stuff. Yeah, I remember. The cheaper compromise design it turns out to had some compromises. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 614s. This was two extra guns. Okay. And these, I think, were even heavier. A. Yeah. 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 All right. And then these were our new, newest battleships of 15-inch guns. Very nice. Okay. And then another fast battleship. So a lot of fast battleships that didn't quite work out in our favor. But you know, there's that. <laughs> Potential for war with Italy because they'll probably join the show. <clears throat> Nothing too exciting in here. Ships, one battleship, two battle cruisers, a number of heavy cruisers. Okay, I still have a number of heavy cruisers in my own. But yeah, basically the entire fleet is in dock. Ugh. And we were blockaded, of course, as a result. Makes sense. Uh, no. Ships of our class. Free protection. Free protection as well. <coughs> that should be enough. Economy, a little bit in the hole, but not too bad. I feel like I need more fleet cruisers. And now would be a good time to build them, I think. This was, I believe, our last one. Nah, the fleet the Medusa class. Do we have one under construction? No, what about under design? I think, oops. I believe I may have late, uh, designed one, but did not actually build it because of budget. Fleet. Uh, 50, that would be a uh, destroyer. Fast Battleship. Refit 1935. Maybe I didn't? Okay. Well, we'll use this as a jumping off point. Clear the turrets in. Forward, aft. And I think we had triple turrets unlocked, if I remember correctly. We remaining 156. This is a nice heavy broadside. Earth curiosity, do we have dual purpose flies that flies as main mounts? Gaifon class. A. So we could have an AA light cruiser. Hmm. Let's get rid of the entire secondary battery. Um, forward center line double turret. V. And then let's say HI, oh, HI is already occupied, so we'll do Golf Julie, double turrets. Oops. <laughs> well, you know what, I can work with that too. Uh, F and K. Check that. Too many main guns, considerably overweight. 
like a crowd. It's center line. Okay, yeah, too much, too much, too much. Um, do, 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 do. We'll get rid of. I think that sorting by position doesn't quite work right. Get rid of the V turret. Slightly overweight. Okay, I can handle that. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Did I count that right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen gun broadside. Oh, oh man. Of high quality five inch guns. She's impervious to her own guns to eight thousand yards thereabouts. That's not bad. Thirty one knots. Throw another heavy AA director. This, this more AA directors, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I believe we're at the point where light AA is becoming next to useless, so we'll switch that over to more medium A. Oop. Something like that. <clears throat> Get rid of the secondary director since we don't actually have a secondary anymore. Oops. Still has that. I'm going to remove that and add that to the Q position instead. I feel that makes the ship look a little bit more balanced. Turn four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen gun broadside. Wow! It's letting us get away with that for eight thousand tons. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. If you go an inclined belt, which makes us a little bit tankier yet. Okay. I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it. Save. Lock in those lyrics. <laughs> okay. So that is under design. We got some more fleet destroyers coming off the slips as well. And we got the budget. Yeah. It's like a bunch of stuff obviously just obsoleted at the same time. S fifty. Design. <laughs> we'll call it the S51. Uh, well, we could go 5 inch guns. During dual purpose mounts with an A director. Yeah, seriously overweight, I agree. We'd have to get rid of like. So that's the AA factor 14. Yeah, you're not really gaining any AA from moving to the five-inch dual purpose on this ship. Okay. Not much top deck, that's for sure. Put the extra speed. So that'd be 80. <clears throat> Can we get away with another center line torpedo mount? Is there a bit of weight? Sure. Not enough top deck space. Sure. Ah, maybe you're crowded. Okay. Probably pretty good. If we go engines for speed, could we still get that? Nah, it's pretty expensive for those and our speed. Leave them normal priority for now. S51 class, just a small revision. I'm gonna try to send line. I think that'd be fine. I'm not too concerned about how much DACA this thing has. <clears throat> They're there just to provide a little bit of support. Doctrine 
secondaries. Four to six inch mains. We're gonna drop it down. Most of their ammunition is gonna be high explosive. Because they can wreck most things with high explosive. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, those new fleet cruisers will not have enough. Uh, yeah, we'll go 25, 75. That should be fine. And I have to l look at the mail about diving shells. I don't think they're going to make that much sense for the engagements that we're going to have. They're more of an open water deal. Is that recall? Like USA versus Japan makes total sense, if I remember correctly. New docks, four destroyers. Excellent. Um, we're not gonna get upset. We don't want them in this war. <laughs> we're in the last war, how. Their subs kept sinking my battleships. Well, guess what? We sank a destroyer. Yeah! Uh, an enemy submarine sunk. Okay. Hit a mine. Wow, the mines are prolific. I'm going to have to lay even more line, mine sniffers, I think. Oh, France is our ally? Whoa! I I'm still working on my first cup of coffee, so. My observation skills aren't quite there yet. Enemy raid on shipping. Large. We got two battleships. Yeah. And it's in our own coastal protected waters. I'm okay with this. Attack the enemy ships. So we've got the Brandenburg. Ooh, our new baby. That's a pretty ship. I mean, it's kind of odd how this stuff turned out, but... Everything. Guy some destroyers. We've got a merchant there hanging out. It's probably another merchantman. Yeah. And what we got over here? Oh. So our fast battleship did get broken off into its own uh, fleet over here. All right. Kind of a funky looking ship. Maybe in a refit, I might redesign the deck a little bit. Looks a little bland. <clears throat> sure. Launch. All the float planes. <laughs> See who we can find. This should be a smaller engagement. If See how fast is this? 29 knots. We'll, we'll probably be able to knock out a heavy cruiser if we find it. You guys have anything out here? Where are you? this way spotting light cruisers heavy cruisers a battleship two cvs and four cvls whoa okay granted we've got some land-based uh cvls here so <clears throat> i'm gonna group up my ships in for a combined aa and you're gonna uh, destroy 40, 44, huh? So they already found us as well. And that means destroy division. Mm. I don't see it. Mm, it must be a different division. Okay. Either way, these are going to go 20 knots steaming this way. Felix, yeah, I'll go 20 knots steam this way. Get them grouped up. <coughs> Enemy aircraft, German Division 43. Looks like I seen our own just took off. Yeah. I may have to invest in CVLs after all, just for cap purposes. One aircraft destroyed. Oh yeah, there's our uh, 
Looks like a torpedo strike just went out. They're on my cruiser division 15. There they are, they just found us. Uh, Schwab and fires heavy AA 25 and ship bomb head. Okay, so I guess we did get a bomb hit on something. Dive bombers are busy. There you go, Heiko HE-137s. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Torpedo bomb enemy BB. Pretty poor AA. Yes. Yes, my pretties. <laughs> oh, man. Four potential torpedo hits. Oh, they're getting wrecked. Look at that. Oh. Eat it for all those submarine cheater you had last, last decade. Many junkers, Ju 144s. Yeah. <laughs> no, not a destroyer. Identified ship, bomb hit, bomb hit, bomb hit. Looks northwest. All right, I think we're pretty grouped up. Let's go squad max. No, no, we'll go 25 knots this way. And this is going to go 26 knots, maybe 27 so she can group up a little bit tighter. <laughs> Dive bomb, so these four, three bomb hits. Fortunately, we do not have a, a you know, armor piercing uh, dive bombers yet, but still, that's probably disabling stuff. <laughs> Causing general superstructure damage, all that goodness. And nighttime's coming. Okay. Well, at least they got the strikes off before nighttime. Play this ship in. Let her get a little bit closer. <sighs> what are you guys doing? You guys should be scouting, so why are you lagging behind? AI, AI is doing weird things again. I'm scouting from behind. What? Scouting is. Considering I'm not going that fast. There we go. We'll just loot these guys. Hopefully, the light cruisers will go where they're supposed to. Oh, that's a nasty looking blob. <laughs> I'm glad for the investment of the dive bombers. That looks to have worked out quite nicely. I mean, they got some good hits. And I am actually going to request air cover for this ship. <laughs> I mean, granted, I don't have that many... Uh, fighters in my bases, but eh, should be fine. I may want to recruce, re reduce the number of uh, float planes, maybe. A couple each, just for a couple more fighters. Not sure. Or I just build, I don't know, expand them slightly more and add fighters would be the other thing. That's the fastest way to get air coverage, probably. just waiting for a uh, coverage. See, this is a long engagement too, 1100 ticks. So, no sense in pushing it. seen any spottings on the coast so they at least haven't harassed any of my coastal batteries just yet just seen something tick but 
Oh, just repaired. Repaired aircraft. Okay, let's just scurry this way a little bit. Match courses. This is 20. Oh, wait. The wrong one. 309. 311. 306. Okay, I guess we can't match exactly, but it's close enough. <coughs> Current local time. I don't think it's ticking right. Okay, it's not midnight yet. See, it's weird how that sometimes doesn't quite work. There we go. 21.53, so 10 o'clock at night. Keep running. Mm, I don't know if this is available. Whoa, 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 radar contact. Slows down to normal speed. is that looks like it's a friendly okay friendly Corvette get you two grouped up I do have radar that's a good thing I need to double check my research and make sure that's on high another ship or two down there Go back down 20 knots. Slow. Says it's a friendly. That comes normal. Hey, is it lost destroyer? You're kind of beaten up, aren't you? Ah, oh, that's one of my trade protection ships. And your AI control. I was gonna tell you, go, you know. Oh, I hit by a bomb. <laughs> you should probably go into port, but I guess not. So that was the destroyer of a division that was getting attacked by a, uh, the enemy air. Hmm. After midnight. Getting spooky. Let's turn left. They may have just gone ahead and retreated by now. But they could be out here cruising. The AI can be somewhat dogged sometimes. If we could stumble across their carrier force in the night, that'd be something. But they, they're probably already retreated back to here if they're being so even remotely smart. Depending on how much damage they took. Especially with the lack of reports on the coast, which makes me think they probably pulled back. But you never know. See, uh, one odd thing about the game. That should be a pause button. That's the, th that's the universal play pause button. But it just doesn't quite do it. Oh well. Yeah, we'll just run for a bit. Shaman. Let's turn to the west. Ship a little bit. 
I just want them close enough to make sure that their heavy AA is uh, covering each other. Bases have launched as well. No reports yet. Still early though. Oh, well, I should probably, sh probably should have reduced the range. Eh, kind of a little far, but whoa, hello. Reports from behind us, huh? Turn about. You're gonna go squad max for a minute here. Group up. So they already found us. Sir Carrier Group, Squad Max. <laughs> yeah, they are really freaking close. To have already gotten an attack off. Good mm, AA hits. That's something. No aircraft damaged. Extended. Slow down 26 knots. Match your compadre. Looks like it's still being attacked. Nope. Avoiding torpedoes. Do your thing. They're both avo avoiding torpedoes, it looks like. Group up. Get that AE coverage. See, we got those pips, but nothing about them. <coughs> Where the heck are they? I'm really shocked that they found us. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have pursued. Getting vague reports of that direction, so we'll turn that way. Avoiding, ugh, not good. Avoiding, yeah, that should be fine. It should be able to eat a torpedo just fine. Dorniers are approaching enemy ships, so they are over here. See the bomb hit. Bomb hit. That's good. <coughs> Hopefully that'll slow down their uh, slow down their attacks on us if they uh, start burning their decks. Yeah, not very good feedback. It's not uh, telling me what is where. That's for sure. Let's go that way. Okay, so they're over there. Instead of intercept course, like right over there. <laughs> There's a battleship over there as well. Let's 
adjust my search pattern. Did that uh, request? Yes. Okay. Do another search. Torpedo bomb CVL. <coughs> Damn, some of our aircraft actually got damaged on that attack. Or is that our A? No, that's theory. Hey, hey, look at that. Hmm. Sunside is hit by a torpedo. Torpedo. Sure. Oh, I got some rating ships out. are doing a number on them. I mean, they're definitely trying to re retaliate, but our land-based air is just too freaking good. SU-31C. Another hit to our deck. Two aircraft destroyed out of six. They've got their cap up. <laughs> Lose a lot of junkers. From retaliation. So they actually have their cap up now. <coughs> I'm still in pursuit, but uh, they are definitely running away, I'd say. Though we should be getting fairly close to spotting. Well, no, we've got... Not sure. Eh? Oh, it ran over the clock. <laughs> That's disappointing. Well, off screen, this was a victory. That's for sure. There I go back. Sorry, I had the sniffles there for a moment. Um, yeah, <laughs> so we lost the DD and a Corvette. They lost pretty big. Uh, they did not lose their, either of their main CVs, but they definitely took heavy damage. They lost a battleship and one CVL. I want to see a little more about what happened here. So she sank. 913 inch guns. That was a big ship. That was a pretty important ship. But she had very little AA. Details. Flooding. She said took seven torpedo hits. Whoa. The rudder was jammed. Max speed. Yeah, basically nothing towards the end. Two torpedoes. Two. One, two, three. Then 1,000-pound bombs hit the deck. One penetrated the X turret. 15, 15, 20. So this happened yesterday, I think. So this is the first attacks. That ship that got hammered over and over and over again, that was this one. Okay. And this, I think, just happened. So five bomb hits are enough to sink their uh, CVLs. Hit the deck, fire spreads. Turret got disabled, whatever. Fire spread, fire spread. <laughs> 500 pound hits, yeah, because the range I underused the lighter bombs, but still not bad. Let's 
flooding. Yeah, she just probably tried to steam at full speed away. How close were we? We were fairly close to their uh, aft elements. Yeah, but yeah we, we weren't going to catch them. Especially not that thing is probably steaming. That's ah, not going to tell me. Mm hmm. Max speed, 30 knots. Yeah, we weren't catching those ships. <laughs> Still, I'll take it. DD fleet. Uh, lay down three of this class. Our latest th is design. Um, let me see. I don't think I can really afford yet another fast battleship right now. Oops. Game. Where'd it go? Okay. So this is a four design, eight sixteen inch guns, thirty knots, built for speed. That's a nice ship, but uh, I don't think right now it even makes any sense remotely. <laughs> We did it. need escorts. Bigger docks. Always bigger docks. Now we're already at the point where it's starting to tip to where battleships don't start don't really make sense. But uh, yeah, it's fun. That's probably the biggest issue with the 1920 start is you basically have battleships briefly and then they're obsolete. But yeah, that's okay. We'll probably play through 1945, maybe 1950. It depends how ham the uh, AI gets, because you watch these numbers and they just keep getting bigger, 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 and all these numbers get smaller and smaller to where, yeah, naval combat's dead. And then you just got a kind of rudimentary aircraft simulator, which, eh, isn't the greatest. All right, if this ship, if these ships are in refit, open design for rebuild. If it's getting refit anyway, I'm going to reduce the light AA for a significant amount of medium AA. And what's its heavy AA factor look like? Uh, it could go up to there. Say drop a pair. Some three inch. Okay. Oh, we're using way too many AA positions. What? Are these ones just that much more costly? I guess so. So, this so is swapping light AA for medium AA. Uses way more deck space. Oh, good to know. Okay. Alright, we'll, we'll go ahead and add the A directors anyway then. This is probably going to be a small debuff. Yeah, not a ton. Hmm. We could add another director at that point for redundancy purposes. Definitely leaves some tonnage on the table. Could add a float plane. Air capacity one. And add a launcher in the cube position that would help clean up the ship a little bit. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. They're using five of the uh, deck structures, but that means if I use six, it'll go above everything else. Um, oh, unless I go line. Yeah. This will make her look a little bit sleeker. Say we do a line. Give her more of a aggressive looking deck structure. Maybe something like this. There we go. It cleans up this just a little bit more visually interesting. That's three of those. What if we drop those entirely? Oh, look! So it even 
have a bit of a debuff because it wasn't quite enough. Yeah, we'll leave that at zero then. Just leave the four inches. Um, a little more light aid then, I guess. Uh, not much. Room. I, I guess we're kind of compromised out. A bunch of AA directors. A decent amount of medium AA. Still got some unused tonnage, but should be all right. Okay. Go refit you. Oh, my pretty. This one's also taking two months, so we'll go ahead and take four months then. I think that'll be just fine. Uh, you, the Wittelsbach. Oh, this happens every once in a while. You go do a refit, and it's like, here's free tonnage. And you're like, what? I don't know if maybe it's because you're refitting and these are getting replaced with more efficient ones? I don't know. Ooh, powerful foragers? Sure. I totally missed that on the other ship. Sure. Could downgrade it to dual purpose fives. Is that a thing? Oh, I do have dual purpose fives. Well, that's good to know. Oops. Oh well. Uh, AA directors, all of them. Bunch of medium A. We're gonna drop some of this light. A. Or me medium. And we'll just keep slinging and flocking this. Me and above armoring the secondaries, which is not a bad deal. You know, help keep that AA alive while under air attack. Fires, all that good stuff. Trip we're done to see there already. So let's say I increase this stuff. Three inches, three inches of secondary armor. Okay. That should protect me, I would expect, from a typical AP bomb, or typical bomb, not an AP bomb, but definitely a typical one. Um, it's 53 AA. So if we put this at zero, and maybe increase this up, it's 49 AA. So, slightly less heavy A, but be all protected. I'm probably okay with that. It's more efficient 5 inch, or higher quality 5 inch A. Uh, we still got some tonnage, we'll throw a few more light on it. Okay, 10, 34, 4. How much of a difference does this make? Yeah, it's definitely worth it, 15 tons for sure. <laughs> Yes, I do. Stop asking me. Okay, she's getting refit. Um, both the... I, um, I'd rather these... They, they should come back this turn. Italy is about to get involved. So we'll, pro we'll wait on refitting these to these other ships cycle off. Isn't there one of them under workup? Maybe not. I might be confused. Definitely confused. Ah, Von Schweig was getting commissioned. All right. Improved medium AA effectiveness. Excellent. Now, I could go unrestricted, but that'll almost certainly pull Italy into the war. So I'm just going to leave it where it is right now. Oh, my raiders. Oh, well. Enemy coaster raid. My own area. It says I have three battleships, but I don't believe them. But sure. Tech enemy ships. Oh no. This is gonna be overcast. Uh, so no... Uh, yeah. We get nothing. Oh, the catch of air. Oh, there's clouds. We can't fly. Which makes sense during the earlier days, but... Uh, even later on, it's still an issue. Oops, slow down, spot max. Turn, my friends. And then turn again. Okay, it's a friendly. Yeah, slow down 20 knots. And go back to fast. I might just be cheeky here and just go straight into port. No, there was something over there. have an unknown contact over there. If it is their battle cruiser, I said pause. 
So the is it does not respond to that spacebar very well for pausing. He goes, yeah, I'm going to keep running two more ticks. 30 mines. Did I not have torpedoes? I have no torpedoes. Yeah. All right, I'm noping right out of here. Why do I have a light cruiser without torpedoes? I must have been confused when I built this ship and just totally missed it. Squad Max. Yeah, because that's the entire reason I have light cruisers, is to have torpedoes on them at this stage. Because they're cheap and disposable. All right. Into port. <laughs> okay, the Raider I can sort of understand, but I normally throw on at least one per side. Just give them a little something. <clears throat> yeah, if I don't have torpedoes and poor weather conditions, just why bother? <laughs> it's a no-win scenario because I guarantee the AI will have torpedoes. And it's a guarantee the AI will fire the torpedoes as soon as they see you. <laughs> they, uh, they're very good with torpedoes. They're always training with torpedoes, it seems. Which, granted, of course, you can too, but... Yeah, we'll just let them do their thing. They might get a couple of victory points. It's hard telling. A couple of VPs. Yeah, we're so far ahead. And if it clears, our planes might do something. Fast as available. Planes went out. You gonna sink anything though? I don't really see anything marshalling out, so it's looking doubtful. Nope. A whole lot of nothing. They, they successfully evaded our aircraft as well. Disappointing. Four CLs, yeah. It's two headed cruisers. Yeah, I think that was the right choice. Let me rework it. Let me make sure I don't make the same... See, it's acting a little weird there. It keeps hiding that... Because I definitely didn't close it. So that'd be up over here. Um, Let's see here. It does have torpedoes. We're not gaining any tonnage. We didn't do it. I didn't think we had any advances, but you never know. Lay down two fleet Gyphon class with the AA. Okay. Ships in service are Raiders CLs class. Fleet Raiders. This is why I adopted this naming convention. You just sort and uh, send them out. It's just so much easier. Uh. Before I'd make the mistake of putting the Raider status on like the end of the name, but yeah, if you put it on the front, your fleet ships, your trade protection ships, all that stuff, it just, it's so good. All right, the Ferdinand class, open design. I want a few more minesweepers. Minesweeping gear, KE guns, you look fantastic, you're beautiful. Just named August Piper. Sure. And these I'm not concerned about because they're corvettes. You just sort by corvettes and you're done. You don't have to think about it. Yeah, you're cheap. I, I don't care. Yep. I mean, we could throw a, a single director on there. Sure. I don't care. Cold is just fine for these. Trade protection there. A couple of you guys are back. You, 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 and you are going to trade protection as well. So we're spending all our monies. That's okay. You worked up. Doctrine, do I want to throw anything into torpedo warfare? Cost me 900. Anything else coming off the line? Because I could run that for a while. I might go gunnery. Torpedoes. Let's do torpedoes. It's fairly cheap. 
also we've got elite pilot training is selected. Ooh. Okay. French. Sure. Magnetic mines. Soviet medium bomber. Oh, they've got medium bombers. Ooh. Can't remember if we do. New Soviet AMC. It's a merchant cruiser. No, we want Bulbous Bow. Oh, no. <clears throat> Not much going on there. Odds are Italy is going to be in this war and they're going to reset the victory points, which would be a massive bummer. But, no well. Hopefully, we can lure them out. Okay, it's looking nice. Oh, it's their own coast. Convoy defense there? No. We'll just get hammered with the air. Nope. Mm, fleet battle right there. That could work. We, that's at our max range, but it's also their max range. Attack enemy ships. And we will kite away, is what I'm thinking. I know ship spotted. Squad max, turn out. You're gonna also squad max, turn out. I want to lure them into my coverage. Come on. I know you want to engage. Within limits here. Sure it does. We're gonna go up there and assist. Ooh, I already got torpedoes away. Uh, not very good shot, so. Battleship hit. We took a hit. Oh, we, we're in a crossfire. Nope. We're gonna nope right out of this. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, that's our heavy cruisers. Keep turning, baby. Because you guarantee that their torpedoes coming our way right now. <laughs> Hopefully, we're gonna avoid them all. Boy, that's quite the conflict. Alright. You're grouped up. You're going to turn to assist. You're going to go this way. You're already slowed. Okay, not, not too major. You slow down 26 knots. Shoot with the fleet. That's their heavy cruisers and their battle cruiser as well. Let's see if we can get some good hits. We are trying to torpedo. I'll give my light cruisers that. They are freaking working it. Although I'm not sure where they're firing those torpedoes at. That was very odd. There you go. We'll split the focus here. Light damage. Have you kite down, and you're gonna lay back on around. Not too bad. Take the stern. Identifying ships. Good hits, good hits. Some Gorky class have been hit. Get kite up some. She states still limiting ship speed and air operations, which is fine. Come on, I'm right here. You know you want to. I don't want to get into a stern chase with these guys if I can help it. <coughs> Let's take the ships to the left. They're slightly more vulnerable. Oh, this is getting nasty. Okay, this is about turned a whole lot of nope. Cutting in. Turn out, and it's nighttime now. Yeah, this is about to go really, really, really bad. Turn away a little bit more. Looks like they might have radar as well because they are shadowing very effectively. Squad Max. Get you to close a little bit. Let's 
Twilight. Is there a battle cruiser? Maybe. Could be just a misidentified heavy cruiser as well. Anything's possible. Is that really a max speed? That's weird. It says max speed's 30. And it's not like there's another ship in the division. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why it's stuck. Random bug. Okay, they are closing in. We're gonna turn out slightly, as will you guys. <coughs> gonna make it harder for them to torpedo us when it inevitably happens. Well, maybe not. Okay. It's just too valuable of ships to just throw into that. Destroyer's probably dead. But she might torpedo something on the way out. Oh, I forgot that new class of destroyer. I probably, probably should have looked to see if I could afford uh, above deck reloads. That'd be excellent if I could have destroyers with reloads. I might, it might already have been turned on. I honestly can't remember. I may have already done that with the previous class, which explain why they're a tad slow for what they are. Still not bad. Overall, very ineffectual. Fast is available. And a port. Danzig. And you, whoever lost contact is probably about to go on off in suicide. Oh, maybe not. They reattached elsewhere. I'm totally fine with that. Flooding increased. Oh, come on. Well, we'll see if we can keep her alive. Ten knots. And it looks like whatever flooding they had may have already been under control. Because I don't see anything else in the log. Yeah, limits flooding, limits flooding, and nothing else since. Okay. <coughs> Should be able to make it to port. I believe I may have. Are you kidding me? How'd I lose two? Oh, heavy damage, not sunk. Totally misread that. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was about to say, how did I lose two? Yeah, okay. And you... Oh, you lost a forward gun. Yep, that's not great. And you took that flooding hit. But considering you guys have no torpedo protection, as I recall... Yeah, I'm not surprised. Got good damage control. Battle of Gotland. Oh, I should really have renamed that one. Meh. Go to the build screen. Get another 10. I probably ought to, you know what? Let me see, let me open this design. If I just, she'd be a lot better of an actual minesweeper, which I keep running into problems with. Let me scrap this. Oh. We're gonna make it a pure minesweeper. Because it's anti submarine warfare is not that great, and we do keep running across quite a bit of minefields. I'm just thinking about it. I mean, we start out the war hitting a mine. Um, we're gonna switch these over to dedicated minesweepers instead. We're gonna remove the depth charge as such. It's a design ship, open design, August Piper. Put this down to zero. Get rid of the depth charges just have mine sweeping gear. It's going to make her far more efficient at her job of just sweeping mines. August Piper. Minesweeper. I don't care too much. I just It's a no for myself there. Yep. Somewhat wasted money and time, but it's, it's Corvettes. It's not that big a deal. These guys are almost rebuilt. These guys are all doing pretty good. They're in elite status. Uh, the Wetton. She is undergoing refits or repairs. I 
if she's getting repaired, then we'll go ahead and uh, rebuild the ship. Yep. Over design for rebuild. <laughs> Better four inch guns, dual purpose. More AA directors. So she's at 62. If we put that at zero, 53. Yeah, yeah we wouldn't be getting that much. Go back to where she was. So this is this. I'm not sure now. <laughs> what do I do? 12. Making two AA directors. Upgraded fours. So that's 62. Or we could go zero. Fives. No, not enough tonnage. Basically the same heavy AA, so it's. Yeah, so next generation five inch dual purpose guns is the way to go. We're gonna add a few more medium AA. Oh, wait, we're already out of tonnage. We're out of room. Right, use deck space. Deck space premium. more up there? Not really, no. A little bit more medium AA, still some light. Okay. We'll go ahead and refit her. A little bit better AA. <laughs> she was already in repairs, so it's kind of, eh, we're at a three more months to repairs, not that big a deal. Design for rebuild. These guys could bulge them is an idea they keep getting torpedoed could add bulges slows them down by three knots so I have to put in like this diesels yet nope they're not big enough yet two three so we'd lose probably a knot of speed adding bulges <laughs> Second director, some medium A. Let's see. It'll take ten months. I think I'm fine with that. Considering how much those ships are getting hammered, I think I'm fine with that. These guys did have actual torpedo defense, so they're doing pretty good. We'll leave them in the act. Well, no, they're getting refit too. Jeez, the entire fleet is in for repairs. All the surface vessels. So we're probably going to be blockaded here in a minute. Oh well. Um, upgraded 4 inch guns. Yep. More medium A since the light A is no longer as effective. Switch to medium. Quite fit that much. Oops, we're already above our cap there. There we go. 89. Pretty respectable heavy AA. I kind of <laughs> would hate to be the logistics man. It's like, we've got 5 inch guns, we've got 4 inch guns, we've got 3 inch guns, we've got guns everywhere. Okay. You messed up that one. Oh, design for rebuild. So you're in a different design. Oh, you're probably one of those point rebuilds. Slightly different variant. Cut this way down. And way more of this. 20. It breaks us even. I think that'll have to do. That'll do. That'll do, little pig. Alright, save. Short range. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Cool. All right, well, half the ship's in rebuild, and our raiders are out and about doing, hopefully, something. Yeah, we've had some good victories. Odds are, though, we're probably going to lose these victory points shortly because Italy is probably going to be getting involved. We might click that down to, n to light uh, espionage. We could deal with her for sure. And 915, we can deal with her. We're, we got comparable ships to most of what's out there. Okay, that's all I need to know. Drop them both down below.
little espionage. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.